Good morning and welcome to another day of trash picking. I predict today's gonna be a slow day, which is why I'm gonna take this faucet off of this sink. This is not exactly a, uh, you know, something that I really care about normally. Here, I'll tip it over so you can get a better view. In fact, on a really busy day, I probably wouldn't even take this, but today's the first day of the week, and the pickup isn't for another couple of days, so we can indulge ourselves. Anyway, I will, uh, I'll stop recording for a second, and then I'll pick you up when I get it off. This should be a pretty easy job, but the thing is really gummed up on there. They put a lot of putty or something on there. I might have to cut that little, uh plastic nut off. Wow! This thing is way more trouble than it's worth. But, there it is. And it's mostly brass too, so I guess it was worth the trouble. Maybe, sort of. Now we can toss that in the trunk. And there is one box over here I wanted to look inside. Just picture frames and whatnot. So, let's put their sink back up the way we found it. It's actually a pretty nice sink as far as these sinks go. And it looks like there's some other little butts, bits and pieces of copper in it. I don't know why. Pick this up off the ground. Put that over there. Neaten it up a little and uh, we'll move on to the next thing. I see a thing that I think might be made of brass, but I also think it might not be made of brass. So I got my magnet. Wow. Not only is it not made of brass, it's not even made of metal. It's like painted wood. What else we got? Chairs, a table. Bunch of bullshit. Oh, here's something good. What do you think? Baseball glove? I don't know, that looks like a pretty good glove. And what about these things? What do you think that is? I don't know, it's some kind of rack. There's two of them. I guess we'll take those. Anything else? Inline skates. Do we want the inline skates? No. What the, their crappy old Keurig? No. All right, so let's take these stand things and the baseball glove and put them in the car. I see a big pile. I'm sure you see it too, because it's right here. But my prediction is that we're not gonna find anything good in this pile. Hmm, I've just proved myself wrong. Because we found green foam rubber. I'm just kidding. Look at this thing. You know, if I had two dollars for each one of these that I uh, that I find, then that's probably about where I'd be because I do get about two dollars for each one that I find. I don't know what the hell that is. Some kind of scrap metal, I guess. Let's see. Gonna walk around the back. Let's see. A ventilating skylight? Is that what that is? Eh, doesn't look like something we could use. A little obsolete. 
buckets. This is one of those water heater tanks. Sometimes these have metal inside them that you can pull out. Not this one though. It's got like a block off plate. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna stick to my original, my original analysis of this pile was it's kind of crappy, especially based on the size of it. And even though we found this thing, which is cool, I would still say a pile that size that yields $2 worth of scrap metal, it's kind of a crappy pile. Nice sewing machine though. I've been told that people don't really want surround sound anymore. So is this surround sound? I think so. This has enough, like enough speaker outputs that I guess you could surround yourself with sound. It's kind of rusty too. That's not good when your stereo is rusty. What is this thing? Yamaha. But underneath Yamaha is this beautiful pump motor. That's got to be like, what, 30 pounds? And they pay like 10, 15 cents a pound for this. So even though the Yamaha is worth, my goodness, good thing I didn't have a wide angle lens, that was embarrassing. Um, even though the Yamaha is worth zero dollars, this thing's worth like three bucks. It's a Grundfos. Is that a good one? I don't know. I guess it wasn't that good or they wouldn't have thrown it away. So I got on my glove. I'm going to open the trunk because I think I saw some metal. Wow. I sure did. What the hell is that? It's not a brake drum. Here's this weird basket. Does that go in there? Is that what you do with it? No, it goes like this. What is that? I really don't know. Stoltz. A Stoltz roller. Look at that. It still rolls, too. And uh, more than meets the eye, transformer. I know, different kind of transformer. And we got... A huge bolt thing. Some of this is like thin metal, but these bolts are solid cast iron. Or solid steel, whatever. I don't think these are bolts. I think they're just rods that are threaded a little bit on each end. Probably for scaffolding or something. Honestly, this is a really rich town, so I wasn't expecting like low grade rusty iron, but I love low grade rusty iron, so I'm glad we found it. Whatever, whatever this thing is. I don't know, some kind of drain or something. That is so cool. Okay, I see garbage bags. I'm not in the mood to dig through garbage bags, though. Hmm. I guess today's the day everyone's throwing out Yamaha stuff, because that's a Yamaha keyboard. And... VCR tapes. Do we want any VCR tapes? No. Plus, these have been sitting out in the rain anyway. Hmm. Alright, I guess that's about it for this pile. Just a bunch of rain-soaked garbage bags and VCR tapes.
All right, this pile looks like it's got potential. These people seem really nice. They laid everything out. We got paintings. And no, I don't need more crappy paintings, but I'm gonna take them anyway. We got a wooden toy truck. This is like the most beat up wooden toy truck I've ever seen. But I'll take it. We've got an empty railroad box. We've got another end. <laughs> that one's not empty. This one says Train's Basement. Whoa, look at that. Trains. We're, we're, we're gonna take these trains. I should leave this here just in case a pile hopper comes along. So I can be amused by the pile hopper snatching up my trains. Yeah, that, that's the take pile. What else have we got? Giant pine cones, my goodness. I don't think I have any use for that. How about this little side table? I don't know, is that a nice side table? Looks kind of nice. Let's see. True type? Yeah, maybe I'll take that. I'm not really into furniture too much, but maybe I'll take it. A lot of coat hangers, too. Empty Lennox packages. So I think we're gonna take the little table. It needs a little work, but it's solid and it looks like a decent table. And we'll take this junk, too. I'm parked on yet another main road, but it might be worth it. Look at this thing. You ever seen something like this? I mean, I've seen 10 zillion of these types of chairs. These like, what do you call them? Shellback chairs or oyster shell? What? I've never seen one this small. I mean, this is like a baby, like a child's chair. You ever seen that? Question is, is it, is it viable? And it really is, it's not rusty. I mean, it's rusty, but it's not that bad. Like it needs, nuts on these screws or maybe need needs new screws or something but i think this thing you know I've, I've i've already fixed it with one hand look at that there now it's perfect yeah i mean condition's a little rough it's a little weird but i've never seen one before so, this thing's going in the Camry. I don't know, that could be like some rare antique. Or it could be just a piece of junk. I'm popping the trunk. And I'm going around the back to be sneaky, because the neighbor's over there. I don't want her peeking at me and wondering what I'm up to with my camera and stuff. But here's what I'm up to. Getting some orange spaghetti. And a tire iron thing. And what's that? Is that metal? Yeah, looks like a piece of brass. I don't want this wire thing though. Ugh. Wow, it's like a big tangle here. All right, we got untangled. Look at these nice saw horses too. And there's our spaghetti and our other stuff. And I don't think the neighbor even noticed that we were here. I see a car quest box. So I'm optimistically opening my trunk. What do you think? It's got some weight. Look at that. An alternator. I love finding those. You don't really find them that often. The nice one you do. What else we got? Books. We like a books. I don't know. That's an antique book, right? 
You can get like a dollar for antique books. Probably get a dollar for new books, but... People like the antique ones. Look at this back seat. I mean, this is fantastic, and we're just... Like, this is the... Thanks, guys. This is like the first day of a week-long pick. So I'm surprised we found this much stuff, but... We got a table, paintings, trains, chair, books, alternators, wire. What a great day. Here's some boxes that look like they might have some antiques in them. Let's see. This book is Henry VIII, it is. Henry VIII, it is, it is. It's like an antique bellows. I don't know, does anyone want that? I guess I should take that, right? Like, it could be fixed, maybe. And if it can't be fixed, we can just throw it in the garbage. All right. What else we got? Table legs? Eh, I don't know. I never really had much success selling these. And there's only three of them. But, we did find one cool thing. Check this out. When was the last time you saw this? Do they even make this stuff anymore? I'm taking that. And I guess that's about it. Some scroungy old cushions and things. Yeah, it looks like they had a lot of antiques here, but they probably sold them all. You know, that happens people have like an estate sale I don't know is that old bottle worth anything probably not but yeah the people have like an estate sale and they sell all the goodies and they leave the junk for me but I'm glad to have it that's got to be worth a buck to someone Ew. I just smelled this bellows and it stinks got like that old wood stench so we're gonna throw that back down and let's see what do we got here Aristotle some old plates underglaze royal blah 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 I don't know if they couldn't sell it at the estate sale, we probably don't want it either. I sell a lot of stuff on eBay, but I never really use packing peanuts. But I guess I'm going to start, because here's some packing peanuts. What's this? Nothing. Junk. Do we want that? Can we use that? Yeah, why not? Plus it doesn't weigh down the car. There they are. Right now I'm doing something that's really stupid. I drove by a pile that looked like it had good stuff in it, but it's on a dead end street so I decided to go up and loop around and then go to the pile. That's really, really stupid. I did it today because nobody else is out here, but you never ever want to do that. You always want to go right to the pile. Because otherwise, trash pickers, you know, pile hoppers, whatever, they'll come and snatch the stuff up. Let's see. What do we got here? Grand German Shepherd Cuckoo Clock from the Bradford Exchange. I would say that's kind of garbage, but the reason I'll take it is that... You might have one of these people who has a German Shepherd and who isn't necessarily like a clock enthusiast. You know, so they want to pay $2 for this and hang it in their kitchen. But of course, does it work? No, it doesn't work. It's a hunk of junk. What else have we got? The cookie shop? 
Where's the cookies at? What a ripoff. And that's about the end of that. Do you want the big chicken? I don't know. It's kind of a crappy chicken. So I guess that pile wasn't all that great, but you know, the the advice still holds. Don't go loop around the dead end street because you will get snaked. What do you think? Do we want a giant watermelon? No, we don't. But I do want all these aluminum chairs. The only problem is, are they stackable? I mean, we can't really get the ones that have the swivel bases, but... Wow. Those are very stackable. I think I can fit those in the Camry, but I'm going to do it off camera. And then uh, I'll get back to you. All right, we got three of them in there. They stack really, really well, and they're just the perfect size. So it's actually really easy. Just kind of tipped them and shoved them in. The fourth one here, that's, uh, that's basically scrap metal. I don't know. I'll probably break that down and uh, put it in the trunk. And the other ones are just too big to take. But Now we have a set of three chairs, and of course people only want sets of two or four chairs, so kind of a waste of time. It's like, we'll get $10 for them if we're lucky, which is scrap value anyway. Whatever, they're in there. And there they are, or there it is. All broken into pieces. Not a bad scrap load. Nice variety too. We've got wire, alternator, aluminum, iron, more iron, transformer. Pretty good day. What on earth is this? The woodchuck by Vermont Carts. Hmm. Oh, I see what it is. This is like a cart that you use to, uh, to carry wood around. Wow, that's nice. That's for like firewood and stuff. The only question is, Obviously, it's not going to fit in the Camry right now, but... Like, if I really have to, I can strip this thing down. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to put it on the bike rack for now. And then maybe later I will, uh... Take it apart before I drive all the way home. Because I'm 600 miles away from my house right now. I'm in, uh... I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona. Yeah, that's where I am. No, but seriously, this thing is just too good to, uh, to leave right here. And it's a nice shape, too. I'm not a huge fan of bungee cords, but it had one, so I used it. And I also strapped it in with some of the orange spaghetti. So this thing should be fine. And the trunk closes, too. As long as I get my cutters out of the way. Let's just hope we don't find any bikes. That's not the cutty sock. Or is it? Is this the Mayflower? I hate these boats. They're so fragile. Like if I put this in the car, it's not gonna make it home. Say anything on the bottom? Huh, <laughs> yeah, it says made in China. All right, safe enough. We know it's not a valuable antique. They did a pretty good job on it. Like, how on earth would you make this thing in China? See, I can't even figure out how to get this home from uh, Toledo, where I'm trash picking today, but... Like, how do you make that in China and ship it to the United States and it, and it isn't broken? Anything else in here? Nah shelf brackets and whatnot. All right, I guess that's it. You know, we got our little ship. I hope it doesn't sink on the way home. What do you say? 
Want to go cut a couple of chords? That has a little musical ring to it. Cut a couple of chords. Lions and tigers and bears. Wow. This thing is stubborn. That was satisfying. Huh. Weird. Look at this. They fixed it and then they threw it away. Like a Barbie car. Here's another cord. Cut the plug. It's a very satisfying sound. Want to do it again? All right, that's enough. Anything else? Sewing machine, toaster oven, blah, 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 blah. Let's take our cords and get out of here. Look, it's a big panda bear. I don't think we want the big panda bear. We just want this cord. Yep, that's what life is, cutting cords and cutting the plugs. Wow. Wouldn't it be awesome if this video got like 10 million views? If there were 10 million people who wanted to watch me do this? Let's see, do we want this thing? I don't know, that's nice. A little too rusty though. Do I want to cut this cord? Uh, I don't know. The fridge looks like it might work. So I guess we'll just take the, uh, the cord and say goodbye to the panda. Bye, Mr. Panda. I was really hoping we'd find another pile so I could end the video there, but we didn't. So we're in the supermarket parking lot. But look what we found. Packing peanuts, packing paper, a German shepherd clock, the catcher's mitt, jolt cola, a little table, the firewood cart, all this delicious scrap metal. I don't know why I picked up this pallet thing, but I'll do something with it. Then we got the Mayflower or the Cuddy Sark or whatever this thing is. And uh, some worthless books. Whatever that is. Some chairs, these stand things. And I guess that's it for today. Oh, there's like a wood all the way under there, there's like that wood toy truck and the trains in the box. See? And that other glove? Not a bad day, really. So, as usual, do appreciate you guys coming along with me. And uh, until next time, thanks so much for watching.